my family and I have been together. And we've eaten. And we've asked the waitress for the bill. She said, it's already been taken care of. <laughs> then I thought, man, I should have tried another steak. <laughs> One time we was at Red Lobster. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife, just me and her, enjoying a nice evening together. Amen. And I had ordered some fried flounder mm -hmm. and some uh, uh, garlic uh, shrimp scampi. I ordered some shrimp scampi. She made her order. Waitress came by was taking some drinks to another table, turned and just dumped the drinks in CJ's lap. <laughs> just dumped them in her lap. And so we both jumped up, you know, and she was just drenched and wine all over. I said, oh, baby, you got a preacher wife smelling like wine. This is what we do. We was getting ready to pay at the end, and the waitress came by, or the manager came by, and said, we're so sorry what happened. Your bill is taken care of. Amen. Right. Man, I should have got crab legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who you hang with? Yes, <laughs> Oftentimes, that will determine where your blessings might come from. Right. And as I said before, we already know, mm -hmm. if you hang around the wrong folks, mm -hmm. That don't mean nothing but trouble. Now, in this story, we soon find out that it was a very good thing that they invited Elisha to go with them. Because there they were at that destination near the Jordan River, and they started cutting down trees so they could build their new house. And one of the fellas, as he was cutting, he drew back his axe. Now, see, when I was growing up, that's what we did. We used to chop wood. Amen. That's how we stay warm. Amen. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, we chop wood. And then he said, boy, get a fire built. Go get some wood. Sometimes we had to chop it. And our kids running around the house, t-shirts on, talking about, it's cold in here. <laughs> you better put something on. <laughs> put something on. You lucky you ain't out cutting wood. <laughs> so, so one of the prophets was out there swinging his axe and, 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 and cutting some wood. And, and as he drew back the axe to swing again, the head of the axe had somehow gotten loose and came off the axe and just flew right out into the river. And of course, he was just wiped out about it because he said, I borrowed that axe. I don't have the money to pay for another axe. That's right. Good thing the man of God was there. Good thing the man of God was around. It's amazing, a lot of folk don't appreciate the man of God until they're in trouble. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Pastor, <laughs> this is so and so, this is so and so. Can you help us? That's okay. We try to do the best we can. And so, Elisha said to the <coughs> man who had lost who had lost the accent, Elisha said, where did it fall into the river? Mm -hmm. And the guy pointed to the area. Elisha took a stick, threw it out into that direction where the axe head fell. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says the axe head mm -hmm. came up and started floating. Right? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and notice, it, it floated into the direction where the man was. Because Elisha said to him, reach down and get it. Now it's one thing for a axe head to float. It's quite another thing for 
for it to flow into the direction that it floated in. Floated right into that man's direction. He reached down and he picked it up. And once he picked it up, he got the axe here. Yeah. And then he was content. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. What he thought he would never see again, God made a way. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Now, let me just, there, there are two, two thoughts that I want to leave with you here in just only be a few more minutes. Just bear with me a few more minutes. Just, 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 just two things I see in this story that I want to share with you. When it, when it comes to the fact that what, what can you say about God mm -hmm. who makes the axe head float? What can you say about a God like that? Well. The first thing I want to say is this. He provides for those who are faithful to him. Somebody ought to say amen. He provides for those who are faithful to him. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Somebody said, but God guides. He provides. And you know, sometimes he provides in the most unusual way. Yes, he does. You ever have God provides in ways you didn't even expect? Yes. Oh, I know I have. And I'm so glad he does. When he does. What he does. One time, one time, Jesus and Peter were in the temple area. And they were approached about paying the temple tax. Mm -hmm. Everybody had to pay a certain temple tax. And Jesus, can you imagine Jesus broke? <laughs> what? He had no money on him. Peter didn't have no money on him. Now, yes, Jesus could have supernaturally paid money with him. You know, he could have done that. Would have been a problem. But that, that's not the way he operated. Right. Amen. He said, Peter. What are we going to do about our taxes? Peter said, I don't know. Beats me, Lord. I don't know if I'm going to ask you. <laughs> Jesus said, I tell you what, Peter. You like to fish, don't you? Oh, Lord, you know I'm a fisherman. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Peter, go fishing. And he said, the first fish you catch, yeah. open up his mouth, and there will be a coin in his mouth. Yeah. Right. Come on. Take that coin and pay our taxes. Amen. Can you imagine what Peter was thinking going to that coin? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Unbelievable. All right. He was just probably praising God as he was going. Because this time you know you won't catch something. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't coming back if you had it, Calvin. You know you're going to catch something this time. <laughs> just like. Elisha, through the power of God, mm -hmm. made that axe head flow. Right. Mm -hmm. So God makes a way yes, for those who are faithful to him. This past summer, <clears throat> Reverend Moore and I went fishing one day. <clears throat> I had two poles with me. Mm -hmm. I usually only fish with one, but I took two with me this time. One pole I put a night crawler on, the other pole I had artificial bait on. I took the pole with the night crawler on it, threw it out of ways, set it down. Watched it for a few minutes, nothing, nothing nibbled or bite, was biting on it. I watched it for a few more minutes, nothing, nothing, did, nothing happened to it. So I took the other pole that I had, which had artificial bait on it, and I just started walking away. From that pole, I figure if I keep my eye on the bobber, 
I can run back to it. There's something about it, now I get it. Because I've done that before too. But nothing was fighting it, so I kept walking further and further away. I got almost to the other side of the pond, and it's a good sized pond. I got to the other side of the pond, and I'm throwing my other line up there, and I'm building it in. And all of a sudden, I hear a splash. Well, I think of Red Morgan calling the big man. I said, Red, what you got? He said, no, something got your pole. <laughs> I said, what? My pole had just ran off that dock into the water, splash, gone. You know what I did? Did you get the flow? You know what I did, Red? I only got a stick. <laughs> I did. I only got a stick. I did. I said, Red. I said, Red. Where did it go down at? Red, did I say that? I said, Where did it go down at? He said, Right over there, Pastor. I took that stick out. I threw it out there, and that stick just went right to the bottom. Oh. Stay down there on the Bible. I said, well, it works in the Bible. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I'd at least give it a try. Oh, God. Oh, God. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. Somebody said, somebody said, I'd rather aim at something and miss it than aim at nothing and hit it. Oh, Amen. 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 So I aimed and I didn't hit it. <laughs> It stayed down there. About 10 minutes later, I said, Rev, look! The bobber came up out of the water. The bobber, not the pole, but the bobber. It came up to the surface of the water. Rev said, I got an idea. He took his pole, hurled it out there, got a hold of the barber, the barber, started pulling it in. Barber, pole, and the fish were still on. <laughs> Amen. I said, Lord, you are so amazing. You know that? Now, Rev, ain't that a fish story? Yeah, no. Say, no, 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 no. <laughs> Happen that way. When you get to heaven, you ask God to show you that video. <laughs> no, he got it. On, he got to have that on tape. I mean, I, I want to see that myself. Is that what happened? That's what happened. We got 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 the pole back. Got the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad he provided. 